see the endangered species, the piping plover. Good day, mates. Here we are. We're at a uh, Hurricane Sandy Valley attempting to uh, clean up the beach where the piping plover lives in order to restore their habitat so they can nest and feed there. here at Belmont Beach trying to find the endangered species, the piping plover. It's going to be very hard to find one because they're very endangered. In fact, they're almost extinct. As you can see here, Sandy damaged much of the beachside development right here. This debris is going to be very harmful. Hurricane Sandy has destroyed many of the beaches, but even before the hurricane, it was very hard for piping plovers to find a natural habitat to live because of all the development on the Jersey Shore. Is that a piping clover I see over there? Oh, oh, oh. We don't want to get too close to the piping clover because it can get scared easily. But look at these tracks. See all these tracks? Look, look, do this. Piping clover eggs! These are the eggs of the piping clover. See how they're very unprotected. It's so easy for beachgoers to step on them absentmindedly. Stomping and smashing and smashing and stomping. And as you can see, there are many homes and beachside restaurants near where the piping clover exists. Now, in order for the piping clover to exist, there has to be low predation around this area. When the people build beachside restaurants, they often uh, attract the predators of the piping clover because they're looking for food. If someone drops a french fry, a raccoon picks it up and also will eat a piping clover. It's very dangerous for the piping clover to be around restaurants and homes near the beach. This is why the piping clover is endangered and we need to stop it. It's a bit chilly, but it's the perfect climate for the piping clover. This is where they need to live because the ocean provides for them the marine worms and the crustaceans that they love to eat so much. Okay. I have two locals here, Rachel Petty and Emily McGinn, here to talk to you about the endangered species of piping clover. We moved to Belmar in 1987, and back then the piping clover was very abundant and appeared often on the beaches. But now, as you can see, it's nowhere to be found. Hurricane Sandy came in and destroyed our homes as well as the remaining piping clovers. And many people think that piping clover shouldn't have its natural home here so they step on their eggs or don't respect its habitat so that's why there aren't many left. There you have it! Sandworms and sand dunes are the perfect habitat for the piping clover. When you come to the beach you can help save the piping clover by keeping your dog on a leash and making sure when you set up that there are no eggs resting where you should go. Thanks for tuning into our show. And remember, you can save the piping clover! We are approximately 30 come out. <laughs> <laughs> I would actually be really Stomping and smacking it. Because they are the sea or Heel backwards, no, it's sort of right. Have a many. Here, just, just start over and we'll just like. Alright, so are we going? 
I didn't stop it, just oh. whatever. Very hand. Let's see if I can help it out a little bit. <laughs> 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 but why we throw my hate? 